Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. My name is Joe Kozlowitz. I'm a member of the marketing team here at Greenhouse Data, and I'm just going to run through a quick overview of the company and the agenda before I introduce our presenter, Vishal, and we dig into the meat of the presentation. Greenhouse Data is a managed IT service provider and an advisory service provider. Um, we simplify your IT operations and we extend your teams to help you accomplish your infrastructure and application goals. We do that with over 70% of our personnel in technical and client-facing roles. We're a highly support-driven organization and we're extremely hands-on. We want to supplement your team in the ways that you need. We are a nationwide company based in the United States, and we also have nearshore teams um, within Costa Rica, Toronto, and all across the globe. We focus on hybrid IT infrastructure, application management, DevOps enablement, um, public, private cloud, and wraparound enter enterprise advisory services. As you can see, our primary target market is mid-market to enterprise. You see a few of our large customers listed here. Um, we've been recognized by Gartner as in um, a top hybrid hosting cloud provider, and we also have received numerous awards from Microsoft. Uh, we've also been recognized as an Azure expert MSP. We're one of the few providers in the United States who can boast that. As I mentioned, we're a service-driven organization. We provide multi-cloud management, professional services, DevOps frameworks. We recently acquired a DevOps and application development team in Omaha, um, data center modernization, and then all the way through to managing your application upstack from the infrastructure. Our presenter today is Vishal Pawar. He's a principal technical consultant here at Greenhouse Data and uh, business BI architect. Um, he is an expert in data BI and analytics, specifically Power BI. Uh, and as you can see, he's an MVP and has received numerous certifications and recognitions. So without further ado, I will pass things off to Vishal and we will get rolling. Sure. Thank you, Joey. Let me share my screen. Joey, can you see the agenda? Yeah, we can see you. All right. So today's agenda is basically, you know, starting understanding a Power BI report server. And uh, first, I'm going to cover how the Power BI is getting used in the enterprise level, so that you know you will be able to relate yourself with the Power BI report server utilization. Uh, then we will jump into the introduction to the Power BI report server, then uh, how Power BI report server is used in enterprise, how you can migrate your existing SSRS report into the Power BI report server. Then we have uh, five, six demos that we want to show you how you can publish various tool set into the Power BI report server. And then basically difference between Power BI report services versus Power BI report server and we'll go through a few best practices in the Power BI report server development. So let's get started. So hey, Vishal, sure. before you dig in here, I just want to say if anyone has any questions, please enter them in the chat window or using the question area of GoToWebinar, and we will answer them as we have time. There'll also be time at the end of the presentation for Q&A. Thanks. Thanks, Joey, for the reminder. So what is Power BI? We all know that you know Power BI has been recognized by the Gartner for the 12th consecutive year as a leader in the BI world. We know that Power BI can transform the data into stunning visuals. We can create 
uh, charts, dashboards, and the Q&A inside the Power BI. Uh, teams can collaborate their dashboards with each other using the Power BI. On the right hand side is basically the architecture given by the one of the Microsoft architect, uh, Dustin Ryan. And you can see the various component of the Power BI inside that uh, Power BI ecosystem architect. So to just give you the idea, the Power BI report server is hosted on your on-prem and your gateways and the Power BI report services cloud interact with each other and there are various data sources on your on-prem as well. Now, we, after the introduction, I want to explain you the various components of the Power BI using how the actual real life clients are using it. So based on our past experience, we have you know, uh, segregated uh, three main examples. The first one is basically a non-profit client who is using Power BI. The second one is the Fortune 100 manufacturing client. And the third one is the healthcare client who is actually using a Power BI as their product offering. So when we see now each component, we will try to understand how these components are used in this organization so that you can relate yourself and try to see how you can utilize that specific component. So if you ask me how the Power BI were getting used in this three organization, so whenever we talk about any technology, we always talk about people, process, and the technology. So as a people, the nonprofit organization were using us as a consulting company, whereas manufacturing client were using us as a service. And a product, they were basically using us as a advisory services, where we were using utilizing our enterprise advisory service and helping them to develop their product. Now, if you ask me how much percentage of involvement with respect to a company is 80-20%, which means a nonprofit is having their 80% of their team in-house, where 20% they outsource their work. In terms of services, they don't want to take a burden of development team, so they outsource almost 80%. But whenever a company was developing a product, they were having a 100% in-house team. But for advisory services, they were using a consulting. In terms of process, actually nonprofit doesn't have any process to develop the proper Power BI dashboard because their need is only to you know, satisfy their day-to-day -day activities. And uh, they want to develop, which is very quickly utilized to the various organizations inside the nonprofit. Whereas manufacturing has a very streamlined process and uh, where Power BI is used as a product, they are having a mix because sometimes how you know how product development is done. Sometimes they go agile, sometimes they go a waterfall model. In terms of technology, this is the main slide and this is the every component that we are going to cover now like which all technologies these three companies were using and we'll see how they were getting help from their specific component so uh, to again re recap one is the non-profit client which is using a power bi for their day-to-day -day operation in fact that non-profit client was nothing but it was one of the county school 120 principles 120 schools principles were using a power bi for their day-to-day -day operations in that non-profit organization the manufacturing client were using a power bi for their operational activities so let's start with one component at a time first one is the power bi desktop power bi desktop we can author and we can publish the tool we can get the data inside the Power BI desktop and publish. As you can see, Power BI desktop was free, and this is the only development or authoring tool we have. But Power BI desktop comes with a different flavor that we have to you know, basically understand very well. It's not only a desktop. Actually, you can see there are four different icons displays on the right-hand side corner, whereas first one was a Power BI desktop, which is used as a software. Second one is a Power BI desktop optimized version, which is used by a Power BI report server. The third one is basically a Power BI desktop Windows app. 
yes power bi has a windows app that you can install and then you can create a various dashboard on that app then the fourth one is a power bi mobile app actually this is also a windows store mobile app where you can just view various dashboard and connect to the powerbi.com and see the dashboard interaction so these are the four flavor initially available with the power bi desktop but later power bi desktop has a new member in their family called as a power bi report server yes you can develop your paginated report using the power bi report builder so when we talk about a power bi desktop you should be knowing that this is not the only one option you have you have five options to develop or view report using the power bi desktop now going back to how these three clients were using a power bi desktop in their suite so if you ask me everyone was using power bi desktop because that is the development tool that everyone will use for creating the dashboard or publishing the dashboard now windows desktop app if only manufacturing company was using the windows desktop app because the only simple reason that they don't want to update the client on the every machine when the power bi desktop is releasing the new features every month so when you use the windows app as a power bi desktop the every month release will get automatically added into your software you don't have to download and install your a uh, new software all the time then the third one power bi desktop optimized server if you see non profit and the manufacturing client were using both of them because they were having a power bi report server where the third one where a company were using a power bi as a their product offering they do not have a power bi report server so they were not using a power bi desktop optimized report server so this is the power bi desktop and how the clients were using it the next one is the very important thing that most of the people don't know is the excel integration of the power bi yes you can integrate your excel using the power bi services so most of the people knows that you know you can fetch the data in the excel but you can actually pin your charts in the power bi service using the excel service if you are having office server on prem then you can have a excel pin in your power bi report server as well so how the three clients were using the excel integration so non profit client they were not using excel integration because they want to make it more simple so but manufacturing operational client were using it because most of the analytics they were excel based uh, users so they want to still want uh, use excel and do their analytics and then publish into the power bi service or the power bi report server healthcare client were using the power excel as a integration tool but they were using only for their qa purposes uh, for their testing purposes they were using the excel not for the development so next one is the power bi service or a power bi pro we know that there is a $9 charge per month for this specific power bi services using power bi pro actually it's a cloud service provider and we can publish and share and collaborate so to compare in terms of three clients if you see non profit were not using a power bi pro because they want to save obviously a lot of money and they want to utilize as much as a on prem utilization so they were having only a five power bi pro license and if you see the manufacturing when they were using power bi pro a power bi as a product definitely they will use a power bi pro because they want to use the embedded and publish their dashboard online so power bi pro this is how the three clients were using a power bi pro next one is a power bi data gateways this is the only a gateway where your on prem data gets connected to the power bi cloud or a power bi services so power bi gateway plays a very important role so all the three were using because that is the only way you can connect to the your on prem data so all the three clients were using power bi gateways next one is a power bi embedded power bi embedded analytics is nothing but it allows developers to do the embedded analytics into any app using the power bi apis various apis 
Microsoft have published where you can get data, you can refresh data, you can do the charts using the API. And it has a very uh, low margin rates where it starts with $1 hour. And basically it is also a click, click per pay. Uh, if you see only the Power client who is using Power BI as a product offering, that one was using a Power BI embedded analytics where manufacturing and the nonprofit, they were not using embedded because they do not have any uh, use case for using the Power BI embedded. When Power BI is a product offering, that time definitely you want to embed your various different app models in the various different website or various different apps. Next one is the Power BI mobile apps. So there are basically three different uh, devices. You can utilize the Power BI, iOS, Windows, and the Android. Yes, Power BI has uh, all three flavors for supporting apps. If you see, most of them were using uh, all the three, except the Power BI as a product that Windows OS was not using on the Power BI, where the healthcare Power BI as a product component, they were not using the Windows OS app. Uh, moving to the next slide, Power BI Premium. It is a dedicated instance of Power BI as a service. It is very uh, amazing where you get your own dedicated instance and a Power BI Premium, you can actually have a free users and the pro users together. That is the one of the biggest advantage you get with the Power BI Premium. Uh, so if you see non-profit were not using a Power BI Premium, they are planning to utilize, but right now they don't have any roadmap. They might get after two years. Manufacturing, they were having a Power BI Premium. In fact, they were into uh, six different types of Power BI Premium they were using. Healthcare, where they were using a Power BI as a product, they also have a Power BI Premium as their product suite. So now we know that how different components are getting utilized. Moving to our main topic, which is nothing but a Power BI report server. And as you can see, non-profit client were using a Power BI report server because it is very efficient. It is actually released every four months in, it is installed and managed by the IT and your users can just get access to the browser and utilize a Power BI report server. As a manufacturing operational client, there was very streamlined process. So they were actually using a seven different Power BI report server for managing their uh, Power BI dashboards and the reports. Where third one, who is using Power BI as their product offering, they were not using a Power BI report server at all. So uh, you can see Power BI report server plays very important role in the Power BI component. Now let's jump into detailed discussion for the Power BI report server. Power BI report server is on-prem solution for the reporting today with the flexibility to move cloud tomorrow. It is also included with the Power BI Premium. So you have the ability to move to the cloud on your own terms. You can keep Power BI reports on-prem. It has 100% compatibility with the SSRS. In fact, in today's demo, we will see how we have published a one SSRS report into the Power BI report server. Extend your on-prem Power BI capabilities, exactly. So even if you have a Power BI report server or a Power BI Pro services, you can still use a Power BI report server for developing or publishing inside your network. Yes, when you publish a Power BI report server, it is, into, it is inside your network so that inside your network, people only can access, utilize, author, or share that Power BI reports. So this question, like most of the people ask when the SSRS is actually, you know, uh, originated or when the Power BI is actually originated. So SSRS is actually originated way back in 2002 to five as a first suite inside the SQL Server offering. Actually, I always say that SSRS is always termed as a father of the Power BI 
but you know that son always one step ahead of the father in terms of agility and the speed and the collaboration so you can see the main origin goes back to the ssrs in 2005 and from that how microsoft in today's world 2019 termed a power bi report server now how organization using a power bi report server they are using it to create a reports author beautiful reports with the power bi desktop visually explore the data and you have free form of drag and drop canvas and the modern data visualization using the power bi report server you can publish the reports directly to the power bi report server organize your reports into the folder manage access and the update as necessary and then the most important thing is consume the report yes you can distribute and consume the reports across different devices share reports from your user to the consumer and it is a web base and across the mobile devices to meet the range of various business needs. So you know that using a Power BI report server, you can create, publish and consume the reports. Now, how actually they are consuming the report? They are consuming in three different ways. One is the mobile app where you have a Windows, Android or iOS devices where you are consuming your report. The second one is the web portal where you have a web portal accessing your Power BI report server. And third one is embedded apps. Yes, using a Power BI report server URL, you can actually embed that report into various apps. And actually we will see one demo for embedded equal to true, like a full screen view, how you can take that URL and integrate in any app actually that url you will see how it will look like in the full screen mode and you can just copy paste that url and add it in your app and it will look like as it is a part of an integrated app so power bi report server for enterprise so it always starts with the installation it is very lightweight installation it takes less than 10 minutes to install the power bi report server definitely configuration you will spend some time you will try to talk to your dbs try to understand how you want to configure properly migration if you are having an existing ssrs report the migration is also a piece of cake you can easily migrate your existing ssrs sql server into the power bi report server scalability is very flexible it is very secure because it is using inbuilt ad authentication the life cycle uh, actually the life cycle right now for the power bi report server is a modern life cycle policy from the microsoft which means they are releasing a power bi report server four months once in a four month so every four months you will see one release for the power bi report server so always decide your strategy for how you want to upgrade your Power BI reports because Microsoft is going to release every four months. But as a company, as an enterprise, you have to decide your own strategy like every six months or every year how you want to upgrade your Power BI report server. But I will definitely suggest you should go with the six months because that's how you will get latest and greatest features. How to acquire Power BI report server? That is the most important question. Most of the organization always have a question. Hey, I have no, I'm now deciding to, you know, uh, install a Power BI report server and start utilizing it. But first, how should I acquire it? What are the different ways I can get the Power BI report server? We are talking here actually a money path. So Power BI report server, there are two ways you can acquire. The first is the simple way, which is a Power BI premium, which means if your organization is having a Power BI premium, Power BI report server is free with it. Yes, it is completely free. So if you are having a Power BI premium, talk to your DBS and get a Power BI report server and start utilizing. It. There is no question of, you know, uh, spending more money on the Power BI report server. The second way to acquire a Power BI report server is SQL Server EA agreement with the software assurance. So if your organization is having a SQL Server enterprise agreement 
and with that agreement software assurance is mentioned then also you can request a power bi report server for from for the from the microsoft for the three years yes if your organization is having a sql ea with the sa agreement talk to your dbs you can get the power bi report server key very easily there is one thing i want to mention here that whenever microsoft publishes this they want to make sure that you are whenever you are publishing anything on power bi report server you have a power bi pro license so power bi pro license is always required to publish the reports on the power bi report server so there is no way right now a microsoft or a power bi suite can check that like hey who is publishing on the report server or is a user who is publishing on the report server is having a pro license but in their license suite they have mentioned this as one of the key line that power bi pro is required if you want to publish your report on the power bi report server a power bi installation as i explained already it is very lightweight and it has a zero impact on the sql server and the requirements is very simple it can it it must have a sql server database engine yes it must have a sql server analysis services as well and as you can see i just pasted a screenshot how the installation is look like now the migration from ssrs to the power bi report server as you can see ssrs have a report server database similarly power bi report server have a power bi report server database you can just copy or move that content from your report server database to the power bi report server database and your migration is done in fact there are various a powershell script has been published to do perform this migration i will recommend go online and search those scripts and try to first just do a research and do it in your dev environment and perform the migration a report management so publish and management report is very simple it is actually completely a web based management so most of the time when you have a power bi report server it, it gives you flexibility to publish the report as well as you can reopen and edit and save back this is very important line because in the power bi services actually right now you don't have this flexibility where you can open a power bi dashboard or a report right into power bi desktop and edit it and publish it back whereas if you are having a power bi report server on prem you can actually reopen edit and save it back on the power bi report server now power bi report server topology we will go a little bit fast on the topology side because it is same as our architecture i want to spend more time on the architecture instead of the topology a topology is very simple where power bi report server talks to the active directory and the power bi report server have its own catalog and there are two databases actually it gets installed when you install the power bi report server one is the uh, report server database and another one is the temp databases and inside it it is using a sql server engine and the sql server analysis services also so power bi report server internally does use the sql server analysis service you you will not get access to that analysis service but it is always using analysis service instance to run the power bi report server now going back to a main architecture and i want to spend at least a flexible amount of time on this slide so that you will understand the complete cloud architecture non cloud architecture for the power bi report server starting with first is nothing but your source data where these are the source used in the power bi report server using online interface or the apis now when your source get into the using queries and data mashup actually this is nothing but the power query interface where you transform and mash up your power bi online data sources the third one is nothing but the actual data sources these are nothing but the on prem data sources such as sql server or analysis server uh, those are the using those are just using uh, on prem all the data sources 
actually these are the most commonly used in the power bi report server on prem data sources the fourth one is nothing but the query and data mashup for the on prem source data then you have the scheduled data refresh using the power bi report server actually you can schedule the data refresh you can specify different schedule frequency it is exactly similar as a ssrs experience the sixth one is the data modeler actually this is the as per the user choice report designer can use various available tool in their product suite and he can develop the report such as report builder power bi optimized desktop or using the visual studio modeler can develop the report now the seventh one is actually power bi desktop optimized for the report server so this is the main uh, power bi authoring tool that various developers utilize right now they develop their report using the optimized version today also we will see one demo for the power bi optimized version how we can create a adventure work sample data and publish that into the power bi report server the eighth one is nothing but the visual studio ssrs reports can be built in visual studio we can publish deploy using a visual studio actually 2019 uh, demo in my current demo i have used the 2019 and you in 2019 you have to find the add-in for the ssrs use that add-in to create the reports and publish into the power bi report server excel which is our uh 10th one but the ninth one is the report builder where i said uh this is the latest and greatest uh release from the power bi uh site where we want to develop a paginated report pixel perfect paginated report can be developed in the report builder uh we will have one demo for the report builder as well today we will see that the 10th one is the excel how we can use the excel on prem on the server and you can publish and pin excels into the power bi report server in today's demo i don't have the office server so i am not able to cover the excel part for sure but i can definitely cover the mobile part where the mobile reports are nothing but the data as an acquisition that microsoft had two years back the mobile reports can be developed publish update using the power bi report server now once those reports are getting published onto as a rdl file this is based on the development tool respective to the file format if it is developed in the ssrs it is a rdl file if it is excel it is xls if it is a power bi desktop then it is a pbix file so based on various development tool this file format is mentioned in this uh, arrows now once we publish it into the power bi report server it gets viewed or it gets authored onto the report and inside the report server we can see all the features such as scheduling data sets and the web server now in the report server we definitely have a web server which has various indicators which has reports which has a mobile reports in today's demo also we can see when we publish a different types of report power bi report server segregate himself these are the different reports as a mobile report paginated report and web server act as a handover from the power bi report server database and the endpoint consumer of the report the 15th one is the power bi report server database which is nothing but a main database which is created when you install the power bi report server and this main catalog works between whatever you are saving on the report and whatever you are performing operations on the web browser tempdb is the 16th one which is used as a temporary database actually uh, there is not a lot of information what does it store and what does it have the most of the time power bi report server use this tempdb internally the 17 one is the sql agent when you have uh, various jobs running sql agent act as a standalone job scheduler for the power bi report server for the job scheduling and it is indirectly used through the power bi report server interface itself so you don't have to go in the sql job and do 
or perform your activity. You can still you always use the Power BI report server interface to schedule job or to refresh the job. 18th one is nothing but the report rendering, report rendering and the consumption perform at the end tail using the browser or using the mobile app itself. The report consumers are the web browsers commonly used by the report consumers to the access reports using the respective security context because based on your AD authentication or based on your online authentication, you will get to see a specific set of report or a specific rows of the report. The last and not the least is the Power BI mobile apps where you can see mo how mobile app is delivering live touch enabled mobile access to your on-prem business information into the Power BI report server. So this is how uh, on-prem non-cloud architecture for the Power BI report server and jumping on to the our demo part. So, so far, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask Joey because we are now going to cover a demo part where I want to just show one point, perform that activity, go back and show another point. So starting with, we will see how the Power BI report server site setting looks like, what is the help and how we can identify uh, which version of the Power BI report server you are having. So. To go for that, I'm using one of my uh, demo RDP. So this is my demo RDP. So instead of uh, open already existing browser, what I will do, I will open the new browser. Inside that new browser, I will just ping my report server URL. So you can see it is a brand new installation. And this is how Power BI report server looks like in the web browser. And these are the various site setting that I was mentioning. When you go to the site setting, you have various options such as general, where you can mention how, how much should be the report timeout, what is the history snapshot, and various details around the branding, uh, what is the schedule options you have, what is the security options you have. Branding is nothing but if you want to change the background and the colors behind this, you can do that you just have to understand their branding package their branding package is nothing but the json file what you can utilize you can change the colors images inside that json file and you can just upload that json file using the upload branding package and it the branding will get affected and all the power bi report server will looks like according to what brand you want to possess now going back to our main presentation we we missed one point here what is the version that we are using so when you click on this question mark known as help you have a getting started option where you can click and learn how you can utilize power bi report server you can join various power bi communities and what are the developer resources the fourth one is actually where you can see what is the version of the power bi report server as you can see, when I click that option, it just popped up one window, which is saying that, hey, this version is May 2019, and this is the code that is released for this specific version. Now, we know that we are working on the latest and greatest, so that is really good. Now, going back to our presentation, let's see what is the next point we want to cover in our demo. So the next point is where I will find the Power BI desktop optimized version for the download. So always developer, you know, try to find an option in the Google or try to save the link. But you can see when we go on our main machine, there is a download option right in the Power BI report server itself. When we click on this download option, you can see you have option to download Power BI desktop. When you click on this Power BI desktop, this is actually optimized version compatible with this report server instance. So you don't have to go online and search the Power BI desktop compatible with this report server. You can just use this download and install it. It is already compatible with the uh, report server. And then you have mobile report download as well as mobile report publisher download and the report builder, which is nothing but a paginated report that we are going to cover in the demo also. So this is the option to download a Power BI desktop 
as you can see in my machine i have already downloaded a power bi desktop you can see power bi desktop icon is little bit different than the paginated report it is having a black background whereas paginated report is having a yellow background with the square going back to the presentation let's see which demo point we want to cover now now the third one is tools to publish actually this will take a little bit more time because we want to cover how we can publish various different tools in the right hand side you can see we can utilize a microsoft excel we can utilize a mobile reports power bi desktop optimize report builder a power bi report builder or a mobile report builder ssdt tools these are the six tools we can use to publish into the power bi report server for the demo purpose let's see how we can at least cover four of them and see how we can publish and see the reports in the power bi report server okay now before jumping directly into the tool let's see what is our demo data for this specific demo i have a downloaded adventureworks data warehouse 2017 and the adventure was 2016 so that we will have a different type of flavor one data warehouse flavor and one is the general flavor of the database now uh, let's see first how we can utilize a power bi optimized desktop version and publish into the report server so what i did is i just created this specific desktop file where i utilize a get data i get my data using the sql server and then i modeled it a little bit and then i am using that data set inside my report to show what are the steps i have applied i will just hit edit query actually i have not applied a many step you can see these are the direct table which are from sql server because when you connect to the data warehouse database you expect that data should be already processed and mined so that you can directly report now when i connect it to the adventure data set you can see on the right hand side i have various data entity i can click on a new page and this is the blank slate that we can start and you can just use the drag and drop similar to the power bi desktop option you can see in the power bi desktop optimize and how you can identify you are in the optimize is on the top you can see it is always mentioned which is the compatible version that you are using for the power bi desktop so as you can see here may 2019 which means you are on the power bi optimized version and you can use this to publish onto the power bi report server you cannot publish using the latest power bi desktop onto the power bi report server you always have to use a compatible version and that's what we are using right now you can drag a different options here when i drag the english days name of the week you can see it came from monday to sunday all the days were populated you can utilize the different facts like for example if i want to just see uh, what is the amount in various departments so i drag the amount and i will try to search what is the department key i can fetch so i'm just fetching a department group and fetching into my chart you can see power bi desktop just populated all the different chart for me so i'm not going to spend more time on the development of report what i will use instead is just this already developed pre developed report where i have a sales amount by colors and the gender and sales amount by the fiscal year these are the two charts and i can drill using various filter like for example if i want to drill into where parent account is only 17 i can select it and my data will get filter based on this specific filter now if you go back to our power bi report server let's go back to the power bi report server you can see it is very a brand new there is no report is published for our demo purpose let's create one folder called test we are creating test as our folder give one or two seconds to populate that test folder when you hit on the home again you will be able to see that test folder you can see the test folder is created now actually whatever four tools we are going to use right now 
we are going to publish all those tools and the reports right into this folder and you can see the difference how it looks like into the report server so we have this inbuilt report developed already in power bi desktop optimized version let's try to publish this report into the power bi report server the publishing onto the power bi report server is very simple you will hit file save as and you will select the power bi report server when you select the power bi report server just copy paste url from your power bi report server so i will take this url and paste it in a publish plane and once you select the publish plane hit ok it will go into the report server try to fetch all the folders from your report server as you can see my report server is brand new so right now it pulled only a test folder i will select that test folder and i will publish my report into here so when you hit ok it will publish a power bi desktop optimized report into the power bi report server now it is currently publishing and saving that specific report once it's published it gives you the link but i will not hit that link instead of that i will go back to my main url i will hit refresh and we will see whether that report got published or not so give two seconds to populate that power bi report you can see it is already categorizing as a power bi reports and it displays whatever published report we have published let's click on that report when you click on that report you get the same experience that you get on the power bi services you can see it is now showing a various report options that you are publishing you can select the various filters from already published filters from the power bi desktop and this url now you can send to your colleagues you can share this report with your colleagues and they don't have to use a power bi desktop they just have to use the browser to access this report to interact with the report now we covered how we can publish a power bi optimized report into the power bi report server now we will cover another part where we will try to publish our ssrs report into the power bi report server so i have already pre-developed a ssrs report just to give you a background for the visual studio ssrs uh, it is always having a report data set it is having a tool set that you can utilize same as a power bi desktop you can drag and drop this option and uh, utilize various features of the ssrs on the right hand side you have a solution explorer you have various properties of that ssrs report now as you can see i will just add a text box just to show that this is the report that is getting published and i will mention it publish this you can definitely preview the ssrs report into the visual studio itself you can see this is how your report will look like but for publishing you must select a property option in the solution explorer and give your report server url there so let's see so i just right click on the solution and click on the properties here you can see what is the target server url it is already mentioned as a power bi report server what is the target server folder path which is the test the folder we just created that is where it is pointing now i will hit ok and i will try to publish this report into the power bi report server so i will hit right click and i will deploy this report into the report server so right now it is a compiling that file it is trying to fetch the data fetch the data set and it will publish that into the power bi report server now you can see on the left hand side bottom the all the deployment errors and the deployment details will be posted in the screen so it is going to take two three seconds we will try to see whether it is going to complete in two or three seconds you can see it is throwing the message such as hey data set has been deployed report has been deployed and the all the things has been deployed where zero has been failed which means everything is successful now let's go back to our main url 
and let's see click on the test folder we will try to refresh here when i hit refresh it will take two to three seconds to come back now you can see this is the power bi report we have published previously now using that ssrs paginated report this is the report is published just now and if you want you can go and see when was the last time this has been updated just one minute back you can click and also view this ssrs report right into the power bi report server itself so when you view this report it is similar experience as a ssrs you can see the pixel perfect report has been published onto the web server you can definitely use or export options such as excel powerpoint pdf so when i hit on excel it will export the ssrs report in the power bi report server into the excel you can see when i hit the or open the excel it will show the same format that has been published onto the power bi report server so this is how you can publish a ssrs report onto the power bi report server now let's see how you can publish a mobile report into the power bi report server so i already have one mobile report pre-developed so for a mobile report you have to utilize a mobile report client again it is a free the i already showed where you can download that software now this is the mobile report i have developed let's try to add a few more things so that you will try to see the changes is also reflecting so when i want to select what options or data set here so i have two options here uh, one is the excel data and another one is the sql source currently i have added excel source and i'm going to use excel as a data source and trying to publish into the report server so in the layout section you can just drag and drop similar to the power bi various option power uh, mobile reports really look very intuitive you can see the, the look and feel is very attractive now this is how you can author the various report in the mobile report now let's see how you can publish so to save reports into the mobile report you have to select the third option where save mobile report as you have two options save as a file or save as a report i'm going to select save as a report server so it is already getting pre-populated report server url i'm going to use the same but for the publish purpose i'm going to use a test folder because that is the folder where we are publishing right now all the reports so i'm going to choose that folder once that folder is selected i'm going to hit save once this report is getting saved it is compiling a mobile report and it is trying to save this mobile report right into the power bi report server now i am going back to my report server url i'm going to hit refresh once i hit refresh i should see three options here now one is the optimize another one is the ssrs one and the third one is the mobile report you can see power bi report server segregating the names or various option by himself like mobile reports which saves in the mobile report category you can click on the mobile reports and you can interact with those mobile reports also you can see the mobile report options are very uh, user friendly it is very intuitive you can select and play with the various options from the mobile report itself so we have covered actually a three tools publishing onto the report server now we will cover one last tool publishing onto the report server and then we will go to the next point so the one thing i want to show which is a new family member which is a power bi report builder so power bi report builder is having exactly ssrs builder features but it is compatible with the report server but most important it is also compatible with the power bi services yes if you are developing your reports into the power bi report builder it should be called as a paginated report builder but let's call it as a report builder because that's what microsoft named it and using that report builder you can actually publish your report on report server or a power bi service only thing is you need a premium subscription if you want to publish a paginated report into the power bi services now this is the pre-populated report that i have created 
it is very similar sales by year category using adventure works you can actually add delete content over here similar to the power bi desktop you can actually run the report and see the options how it looks like into the tool so you can see there is a toggle option because you have selected that report in the report definition like that and now we want to publish but when you click on the file there is no option to publish into the report server you can publish onto the service but there is no option to publish onto the report server so there is a trick here that you want to go back to your url and you want to actually upload that rdl file itself into the report server so i'm selecting a rdl file which is developed using a power bi paginated report builder once i select that file it will say upload complete and you can see now in the paginated report i have two options one is the paginated report builder and the another one is from the ssrs ssdt when i selected paginated report builder again it will give me a pixel perfect same experience as the ssrs where you can interact with the reports also you can extract and see various exporting options so we have covered at least four different tools how you can publish create reports into the power bi report server and you can easily figure out like how power bi report server is categorizing those various reports as well so going back to the my demo points we have covered tools to publish report server now what is the power bi report server db which is a metadata where is that you can see in the right hand side i just pasted the screenshot but we will go right into the database so in the database when i installed i named those database as a report server you can see these are the tables that power bi report server is using to run the power bi report server infrastructure and there are various things you can do you can definitely see who is using what so for example first i will see the execution log now you know that i just published the paginated report builder and i opened it you can see power bi report server database captures all that information in this execution log view you can see i hit toggle it captures that it captures the time of that toggling also so you can see this report server database metadata is actually key for all your database admins try to understand how is the power bi report server is getting utilized in the enterprise so this is the very important database that you always want to look you can further write inner joins with the various tables in this and this queries is already available online uh, you can just search a power bi report server or a ssrs report database queries you will be able to find this using this query firing to the metadata information i can get to know who is accessing what who is having which type of permission and what is their authentication type you can definitely find a uh, various database principles and the security not only that if you are having a refresh scheduled you can find out all those options also you querying just this database so when it get installed it install two database one dev report server and the another one is the dev report server temdb all your metadata is always stored in the dev report server dev is just a name i have given most of the time when you don't select anything default name is the report server so try to find which report server your dba or admin have installed try to get access you just need a read access right now and using that read access you can try to see who is doing what who is having what access who have published what type of report on the report server going back to the our demo slide hey Vishal, i'm going to jump in real quick we're coming up on an hour here so if anyone needs to drop off of the call we are recording this session and we'll send it out to everybody so you'll be able to catch up thanks okay sure thank you Dewey. but i will try to continue uh, and i will try to wrap up in next 10 15 minutes so uh, we covered a report server db now we will try to see a branding we already covered how we can upload the json file 
and use the branding packages so that we can have a look and feel however we want into the report server report server execution log i already showed you that url uh, sorry the query you can use this execution log query and try to see how your report server is getting utilized a full screen mode rs embedded equal to true so this is the third option in the power bi report server how people are consuming the report let's see what is the significance of this full screen rs embedded equal to true so going back to my rdp as you can see this is my report server url and i'm opening a adventure works a sample dashboard that we have used but when you use this url you can see it comes with the all a noise i should not say noise but for end user this is the noise because they don't want to see home test view they don't want to see all the various admin option or settings so what you can do you can just type this specific instance over there which is known as question mark rs semicolon embedded equal to true let's do that pmb -E so when you so i think i have misspelled the spelling r s e m e m b d so when you hit or select this specific snippet and copy paste this snippet and paste it in front of url you can see the full screen view you don't see that noise or you don't see the various options that developer wants to use but end user they don't want to see the noise they just want to see their reports so you always use this snippet and give them a full screen view or you can get this complete url and embedded in a sharepoint or in your web app or your desktop apps you can utilize this url and it will always show the full screen of power bi report going back to the next point comment refresh and the scheduling so going back to my main uh, report and coming out of the full screen you can see let's say uh, your user is utilizing this power bi adventure works report and he wants to comment on this specific report he can definitely utilize this comment option on the right hand side top corner and he can add that hey please add column so this comments will be saved right in the report and developers can see this comment and he can work on that and you can communicate using the comments for a report development or adding uh, features little here and there so we covered a demo part now we will just go through at the high level what is the difference between power bi report services versus a power bi report server the major difference is actually you don't get a real time streaming the dashboards are not supported in the power bi report server q a option is not there in the power bi report server and uh, our visuals are not there in the power bi report server i'm going to leave this slide for one second and then you can actually go through and find out what are the main difference also now what is the best practice in terms of best practice i always cover this seven points and i will quickly go through so development always try to find which version you are working on because it always matter you can work on that version that is supporting or compatible with the report server only develop a strategy for your upgrade and migrations a security always use ad authentication for your security purpose administration i always suggest build reports for the report yes build your report in the power bi report server for all your reports like hey who is accessing what what is my schedule frequency what is my 
various data set that has been published in various different folders develop a report for that then upgrade decide your upgrade strategy i always suggest six months is always good if you some organization even go for the four months they become aggressive because they want to utilize the latest and greatest feature uses always try to find out which type of query you want to use whether it is import or direct query power bi report server does support both but try to find out which is the best option that you want to utilize while you are developing the reports metadata utilize a power bi server db we already seen how which are the different tables are available in the report server db and that you can utilize best practices in general this is not related to the power bi report server so i am not going to go through each and every one i am going to leave in the slide so that you can view when you have time various resources and call for actions for you for you to understand and get to know about the power bi report server definitely click and try to understand various this links uh, and last not the least join the global power bi user group this is the non profit user group that is a uh, lead and developed by me and this this has been used by uh, many members in various uh, context and as this is uh, recognized by a microsoft power bi user community it is always good to join and try to uh, gain a more knowledge any questions so far joy uh yes i have two questions here um one is does report server replace sql server reporting services so the answer is yes and no because some of the uh, organization they are still using ssrs because they don't want to migrate their old content into the power bi report server because some organization have 600 reports already developed but future yes it will slowly definitely try to replace the power bi report ssrs reporting service great and then secondly uh since report server is on premises can we access reports even if we lose internet connectivity so yes if you are in the organization and you are in the in on-prem network where the internet is not required on if you are on-prem network then you don't need actually internet but if you are in the home and if you are accessing vpn for accessing your internet or uh, if you are using vpn to access your network then you definitely need an internet so in network you don't need an internet but outside the network you will need an internet great thanks for thank you joey